So what I'm going to talk to you now is something that I call the coming machine revolution. If we go back 15 years ago, when I started working on flying machines, okay, you will never guess what this device was. Is the inertial navigation unit. This device is what made our vehicles, our very first flying machines, huge. They were this big. We didn't make them this big because we wanted to. We made them that big because that was the only way in which we could carry this. One of these now is inside your mobile phone. All mobile phones have the equivalent of what's inside this device: an accelerometer and ray gyros. Whoa! 期待期待期待 I realized that. I wasn't so much interested in science. I was more interested in engineering. Scientists discover the world that exists, while engineers create the world that never was. I have a little demonstration here for you, to, so that you can see, witness firsthand the kind of power that this gives you. Before I tell you what this thing does, let me tell you what it has. It has a whole bunch of sensors, like the things that are in your mobile phone. It has a microprocessor in the inside, and it has three electric motors that are used to turn these wheels. This is balancing, and if I push it, it pushes back because that's how it balances. But now it's going to try to do something a little bit more complicated. First, it has to settle down. It has to make sure that everything is working properly. Ah.、Oh. So it's not just about the sensors, oh my god, and the actuators and the computation. It's also the algorithms, the intelligence that we have put on this machine. The last thing I'm going to show you is the ability to learn. So first, let me explain a scenario to you. Imagine you're riding your bicycle, and you put on the front brakes very, very fast. What's going to happen? Right on, right on. You're gonna fly over. Okay, so that's an interesting physical phenomenon. It has to do about transfer of momentum. And then we're going to break them very fast. And when we do that, this thing is gonna jump. Now, what this thing is trying to do is trying to jump on its corner. Let's give it three more tries and see if it can succeed. It's gonna spin up, spin up its wheel. And then it's going to put on the brakes. Oh! But it's okay. But now it's going to try again. <laughs> This is very difficult for it to do. It learns through practice by trying something and not succeeding. Failure is not a bad thing. This is how we learn. By failing is how we learn how to improve. Yeah, it's true. A demonstration of what you can do with sensing, computation, and actuation, and the right algorithms, which we learn from math and physics and computer science, to make this, you know, very inanimate object. It's just metal, 
behave like it's alive. And it required all those components. All these components are becoming cheaper, faster, more reliable, which means that by the time you know you are in your 20s or 30s, you will have many more things to work with than I ever did. And the things that you'll be able to do are well beyond what I've been able to achieve. It's very exciting times for you. I envy you. Make the best of it.